Welcome back to the channel. It has been a little while. I'm really sorry for disappearing for a while. If you're part of the Facebook group, you'll know why. Um, but if you're not, I'm really sorry. Essentially what happened is at the end of the last video, uh, the following week, uh, I went down to the seaside with a little one, had a really nice day uh, and ended up rushing back for the race on Thursday night and I missed the start through a combination of different factors. We uh, left there earlier than I'd planned to but then got stuck in traffic and I was watching the little timer on my um, sat nav on my phone going up and up and up uh, and it said you can go one of two routes and the other route apparently was quicker so I'll go that route but it was all back roads and we I got stuck behind a driver who was doing about 25 miles an hour in a 40 and 50 limit zone, single file traffic, couldn't get around windy roads. So yeah, it just took a lot longer. Finally got back to where we live and the traffic was everywhere. Uh, got in the door, cooked some dinner for the little one quickly, loaded up Zwift, jumped on, and I missed the race start by a minute and a half. That is all it was, um, but that didn't go particularly well. And then we went out for the day again on Friday. We went to uh, Thorpe Park again, uh, just as a bit of a family day out. Uh, my mum came along as well. Had a really nice day. We stayed up until the park, uh, past when the park closed because we were in the ride, uh, queue for another ride that the little one was desperate to go on. And I was sat in the car on the way home thinking, I need to put the video together but the realisation that I've enjoyed spending so much time with the family and stuff and we had only a few days left of the school holidays before she went back, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to not release a video on the Sunday, enjoy the rest of the, the few days that I've got um, as part of the holiday and not put that pressure on myself because I was starting to panic a bit, get back, get home, got to do uh, video editing and all of that sort of stuff. And then, so I thought in my mind, I thought, well, I've got Tuesday free to do the video and we can do the update of the August 600 kilometer challenge on to release it on the Wednesday and I thought I've got all day Tuesday to do that I'm home on my own and I'm off then I woke up on Tuesday morning and felt like I'd been hit by a bus I felt horrific I ached all over um, I didn't feel hungry I struggled to get out of bed and the thought of sitting in front of a computer for two three four hours to put a vlog together just there was no way I could have done it. Really weird because I woke up on the Wednesday morning and I felt much better. So I, I don't know what it was, but obviously I couldn't put the vlog out on Wednesday. Um, so two missed days, unfortunately, but today it is Sunday and I'm going to do the roundup of the August challenge at last. So at the end of July, you guys helped me and I came up with a challenge of doing 600 kilometers within the month of August. It's uh, a big step up on sort of the 450 mark that I was getting up until that point. Um, and I thought, brilliant, I've got some time off of work during August and I will have lots of time to spend on the bike. That didn't happen. <laughs> and I'll know for next time not to set myself that sort of challenge during the summer holidays because we just filled the time with other stuff uh, and I had less time than I would do when I was at work. So that was partly one of the reasons why I didn't do the vlog on that Sunday. So did I do it? Coming in to the week, I had 155 kilometers left to do in August. So that would have given me that week plus two days of this week just gone. Uh, so I thought, yeah, relatively easy, I can do that. No issues. Joined Jill's ride on Thursday night around Tempest Fugit. That was 32 kilometers. Again, I love those rides. It's great just to have a chat with people on Discord, just a casual ride around. Ticked off a good distance in mileage obviously being part of that it's not a bandy group ride but it's good to be part of the draft and the group and just get pulled along for those extra kilometers so really enjoyed that and then obviously we had the race on Thursday night so I didn't get to the start I'd logged on I was sat at the start uh, I literally threw my dinner at her daughter passed her on a plate <laughs> and went there you go there's your dinner uh, jumped onto the bike uh, just as everyone else had pulled away but I did carry on round. It wasn't the easiest of rides, actually. I think the culmination of a few heavy weeks on the legs, uh, spending a lot of family days out walking out and about and around, I really struggled. And actually, if I had started at the right time, I'm not convinced I would have done very well either, if I'm honest. I tried at the start to see if I could catch up with people, but if you've lost the draft in those races, you. You've got, you've got no hope really of catching the group. 
Um, so I just sat in and did a casual ride around basically. What I did try and do, and I thought I'll use this opportunity to jump forward and watch the rest of the race, but the TikTok course that we use keeps jumping into different segments, so I couldn't jump forward on the right hand side where all the uh, the names came up. I couldn't keep, I couldn't jump forward to um, to see the other riders, so I missed uh, the finishes. And they looked like there was some close racing as well. I know there were comments in the Facebook group as well saying it was a good race, so I'm I'm really gutted that I missed that. But it, again, the challenge has changed me. The challenge meant that I stayed on the bike. Uh, and and actually recent riding has changed me because if I go back to before I started all this again they, I would have just got off I would have thought oh, sod it I missed the start I'm just going to go and watch the telly or do something different so things are changing mentally uh, and obviously I had the challenge to keep me on the bike so I thought you know I'm going to ride around for the 20 kilometers anyway and tick those off so that is what I did then we did the, the Friday night got interesting because Chris Jupp uh, one of the group members the T25 Point five group members who rides with us regularly decided that he was going to get up on the Saturday morning and attempt well ride up the Alpe Zwift as many times as he could and keep going if he could achieve a V Everest he would do it but he'd just see how many he could do so I thought that's an interesting challenge to do because if I think back to the the times that I've done the um the Alp uh, for me the you know being a heavier rider they're quite painful they're not the most pleasurable of rides. Um, I mean, they're rewarding, definitely rewarding. And anybody who's seen back to my very first attempt uh, going up there will know how difficult I found it that first time. And I don't feel that anywhere near as difficult anymore when I do it on the few occasions I have. But I thought I, I kept one eye on Chris doing that throughout the day. And I knew that we were doing that on the Sunday ride as well. So um, I knew I'd have a bit of a chance to have a go myself. But it was the group ride on Saturday morning first, which we did, and we did the farmland loop, which was a new route in Mercury Islands. Not a bad little route again, actually. I quite like that one. Just around sort of the bottom, the, the sort of back end that goes through the farms up and around, you miss out the towns, uh, the little uh, towns that are around and just do the loop. We did that, uh, I think we did three times around, I could be wrong. Um, but did a good 40 odd kilometers after I'd finished. I carried on for a little while longer to make sure I got some distance in um, to count towards the challenge. And at that point, that meant that I only had 62 kilometers left to do to achieve the 600 kilometers in the month. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do that about 30 odd if I do the Alp climb on, on Sunday. And that then gives me Monday, Tuesday to do a little bit more riding. So. Went off for the day, did some things with the family and stuff, keeping one eye on how Chris was getting on on uh, the Alpe Zwift. Uh, he started, I think, at six o'clock in the morning. Um, and I think it was about nine o'clock. I read the message that he was getting very, very close. He was on his penultimate time up. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to jump on and give him some support. I know I'm not a strong rider, but just having someone on that hill with him to help will be awesome. Put a face, uh, post up on Facebook. So there were a couple of people who dropped in and out at different times. I saw uh, Noel um, and Eric, uh, and I jumped on, sat at the bottom of the hill, waited for them to go for their final climb. And uh, Craig Finlayson was with him as well. He'd been with him a, f a few times up that mountain that day. So awesome effort to Craig as well. I think he did a, a half uh, Everest in the end. So, I joined for the last climb. I decided that I still had my weight changed from the race on Thursday night. Uh, and I decided I wasn't going to change it back because despite Chris already being having been up there seven and a half times, I knew A, that I probably didn't have it in my legs uh, and B, that I needed to try and keep up with him if I could. So I kept my weight uh, 20 kilograms lighter than it normally is. And boy, did that make a difference. I can tell how I'm gonna feel so much different when I get to, you know, whatever weight loss comes in the future, because I felt it, I really felt it. We did a great ride up there. Uh, we stopped uh, once halfway up, just so Chris could get a bit of a recovery time and that was useful for me as well. And actually, I'm blown away by this because he was still, so much stronger than me 
after you know going up for eight and a half times he's still so much stronger than me to be able to push he was pulling away from me and he stopped at turn number one so he could regroup um as well to go up and do the final part of the climb together there are a couple of other people that i'm not sure uh, whether they're video watchers or what who were also sort of cycling with us which was so nice to go up there and just get over the top and a huge huge congratulations chris to do that you, when you didn't even train for it you hadn't planned for it just got on the bike to see how the day went i think that is an incredible achievement and also to craig for doing it um half of it as well i mean that's something to dream of in the future isn't it i just know that i'd be very very ill if i tried to do that myself <laughs> we finished the ride i think just after midnight which is very late for me if i ride that late i struggle to sleep so i did stay up for a little while despite feeling quite tired just to make sure that i didn't have any issues with sleeping but also in my mind thinking i've got to go out of that climb again tomorrow so woke up on the sunday morning it is it was our end of month uh, banded group ride special this month was a ride up the alp thank you so much to the band because there is absolutely no way i would have achieved that i think without it um i was okay at the start and i got about halfway up and i really started to feel it to the point where i i had to log off discord and just put some loud music on just to get myself into a rhythm and get up the the hill it's so weird you, on a if you're riding that on your own you can you can stop for a couple of minutes and just sort of back off um and i found myself naturally getting to the next corner and just stopping and then thinking actually if i don't carry on i'm going to lose the band so you, you end up you still keep pushing yourself up and towards the end i was really struggling but to get over the top for the second time in about 12 hours I cannot, to the, I just can't believe I did it. And I know one of them was banded and I know one of them was at a lower weight than I am. But if I think back to that first time I did it and how much pain I was in and how much of a struggle it was to do it twice in 12 hours, I, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm really chuffed with doing that. But I went into that ride with only needing about 34 kilometers to do got down to the bottom of the mountain and, and uh, went down into the jungle, realizing that I'm gonna have to climb out of the jungle slightly to get the last few kilometers, tick those off to complete the 600 kilometers in a month in August, to do it with two Alp climbs at the end, to do it as part of Chris's V Everest. Uh, I'm so chuffed to have done it. It feels, if I look back at I look back at the um, the Strava things, it's it's a as I said before, it's a big step up. It's almost it's like 150 kilometers more than what I'm used to doing. I felt my fitness levels have come so far to be able to do two rides in a day, to do a 41 kilometer ride on the farmland loop in the morning, and then jump on and go up the the uh, Alpe de Zwift in the afternoon. Uh, it's so far removed from where I started this journey. And that is only from eight, from January to now. So, and that's the thing I said to anybody watching this who's very new to Zwift and joining our rides for the first time and, and struggling and stuff, it, it just keep at it. Keep, I've done nothing special. I haven't done any workouts. Um, all I've done is come along to our group rides, thrown in the odd thing here or there. And to see the improvement has been incredible. I'm so chuffed to have achieved it. 600 kilometers in a month. I knew I knew it was an achievable target. You know, it's not like I've set myself go and do a marathon tomorrow, do an Alp tomorrow, like Chris. But um, to still have done it, I'm I'm really really chuffed, uh, and I'm not setting myself a target for September. In fact, I've taken the week off. Really, I did. I joined the uh, the group ride yesterday um, for the first time since doing that Alp ride last Sunday. Uh, I felt I felt better recovered definitely felt better recovered and i'm wondering whether that additional two alps plus the group ride may have caused how i was feeling on tuesday i don't know because i don't know what it was i did two covid tests they were clear well three covid tests actually they were clear i was going to do the race on thursday night but i i had another i still didn't feel right and i didn't feel hungry all day 
I tried to eat my lunch and I got like halfway through it and I was like, I don't, I feel like I'm just stuffing myself full of food and I just couldn't eat it. I didn't feel like I had the energy to jump on and do a race on Thursday night, so I, I didn't. So first ride back was Saturday, but I think having uh, a week's break has probably done me the world of good, really. So that is the challenge, challenge achieved. I'll definitely think better next year about how to have a break in the summer and how not to set myself a challenge in that summer uh, in August while the kids are off and all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, I'm happy that I've done it and move on to the rest of the year. I'm gonna have a think. I'm gonna have a think about what to try and achieve between now and Christmas. Maybe do another challenge for a month or something. I don't quite know, but September is gonna be a slightly calmer month for me. Let's talk about this week's rise then. We have Jill's Unbandy Group Run on Tuesday night, 7.30 UK time. Route currently to be determined. Uh, but that don't let the Unbanded Group Ride put you off. We kind of, we do... The thing I like about the Unbanded Rides is you kind of form a better blob. The, the band spreads people out on the road. Whereas in the, uh, the Unbanded Group Rides, you can sit in together. I think you benefit slightly more from draft. Uh, and we do slow down for anybody who might fall off the back or whatever and, and people drop back and help them catch up with the group. So don't let that put you off. Then we have our Thursday night race. It's TT time. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I must admit, I did say last time we did the TT race that I quite enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm hoping that having a little break that I've had this week from the break uh, from this week gives my legs a bit more of oomph. Uh, and I'm not sure what route we'll do. Maybe I, I quite like that Richmond loop for the TT, but we did do that one last time. If you've got any ideas, stick them in the comments below and I'll take them on board, definitely. And then we have our group ride on Saturday morning. Again, I think there's another route, another new route in Mercury Islands that we can tick off. So I might put that one in the diary too. Get all of Mercury ticked off, uh, which will be awesome. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for your support about having that sudden break off to spend some time with the family. I know I plan to have the first week in September off. Uh, but being honest, this weekend has been involved a trip to Ikea and uh, moving office furniture around to help my wife move office. So not a lot has happened. Uh, so I probably won't release a video on Wednesday, but normal service will be resumed next Sunday. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, do hit like, subscribe, all of that stuff. And if you want to join the rides, all the information is below. Make sure you're following me in uh, Zwift, Matt King T2.5 or Jill if you're going to join her ride too. And I will see you next Sunday.